So abusing chokes. Chokes are tight, enclosed areas of maps that um, act as a filter almost for the enemy team to push through. Chokes are very notorious in Overwatch. There are a lot of them. Um, the maps are very narrow and very enclosed in places that maybe they shouldn't be. So you can take advantage of chokes very easily. Anubis is infamous for its chokes, especially on first point. There are there's pretty much one entryway, and that entryway diverts into two different directions. You can either go left, which is the plat side, or you can go right, which is the top side. Um, going right gives you high ground, which is a very important thing to have in Overwatch, so teams tend to go that direction. You can run a comp such as Orisa, Junkrat, Widow. These three have such a strong control over the game using just three abilities, really, or four. Orisa, for instance, has an ability called Halt. Halt is a crowd control ability where you can pull a player or a group of players into a certain area, and that allows a Junkrat spam or a Widow headshot to get more value because the player can't move, can't escape. Junkrat has two abilities. He has a mine that stops you in your place, like a bear trap, and he has a concussion grenade that might send you flying in a random direction. The spam itself really is its own crowd control ability because you can spam one doorway on Junkrat and you can mix up the timings. You can throw three nades and then wait and then throw two. You can mix up a lot of timings with your nades so that they can't count the amount of nades before they go. A lot of the strat revolves around them counting the nades, maybe five nades, and they're like, okay, the Junkrat's reloading, we're gonna go now. This can also uh, synergize a lot with Widow because Widow can hit headshots on stunned players, can hit headshots on players that are flying in a different direction. Also, Widow, not necessarily crowd control, but you can get an instant pick, which will stop their push. Either the enemy team will have to go back to spawn to retrieve their player, or they'll have to continue their push, in which case they're down a player, and you can spawn camp the other player. So there's a lot that you can do off that one pick. And Widow in itself is a way to counteract an enemy Widow. So Widow is such a good, potent hero, and if you don't have an answer to that hero, she can run amok. And usually the answer, one of the only answers, is a Widow yourself, especially in a comp where that Widow has superior positioning. The only player that, the only hero that can really do anything about that hero is the mirror hero itself. So all of these things combine into a very difficult situation for the enemy team. Your goal is basically to just throw your crowd control abilities at the one doorway that they have to walk through. There's a lot that they have to think about one mistake, one missed uh, defense matrix on, on the D.Va, and you can get a free pick. You can stop their push. You can get a lot of damage and build a tire. You can do a lot of things, and that's why teams tend to run this comp a lot. It's very, very safe. It hinges almost entirely on getting those picks when you walk through the doorway. Because once they get the high ground, then you're kind of at a disadvantage. You don't really have that much to do. The choke is so severe that these things are often leveraged. You often tend to go for that, even though you know, maybe the end game isn't the best for you. It's the best way to stuff them in that choke, which is already so, so severe. Um, in the future, there will be more maps that have chokes. There are maps in the rotation now that have chokes. All you have to do is think about the basic principles behind holding a choke. Spam heroes, um, line of sight, um, a way to surround your opponent, a way to disrupt his path. Um, all of these things are different ways to hold chokes. Anubis showed how to use spam as a way to hold the choke and how to use crowd control abilities as a way to hold the choke. And Gibraltar showed that you can really just play a, a simple concave and just hide around a corner and make them push into you and abuse the choke that way.